Bob Moog was an electronic music pioneer. He invented the Moog synthesizer in 1963, and in so doing, he changed the whole sonic landscape for musicians and music enthusiasts alike. Bob and I taught together here. I brought him on the faculty in the uh, 1980s, and he taught here as research professor of music and taught electronic music and uh, was loved by all of the students and faculty. Electronic music is so interesting and influential to me because I can think of something in my head and instantly take it and put it into the form of music. It's such a huge way to express myself out of everything else. It's probably the best. The Bob Moog Foundation was created about four years ago to carry on this pioneering legacy that Bob Moog has. We're educating and inspiring children and adults through electronic music and specifically through the intersection of science, music, and innovation. The program that we're working on is called Moog Lab and it brings theremins and synthesizers into the classroom. This here, the closer you get to this, the higher the pitch gets. What's truly unique and remarkable about the Moog Lab experience is the kind of magical interfaces that the Moog instruments provide. Because they're so intuitive, the kids get turned on immediately. And it's a great experiential way to teach kids abstract concepts. One of the things about the theremin that I've seen is that when kids play it, it's a magical experience for them. It's like some kids almost instantly get the fact that the closer you get to this, the higher the pitch gets, and the closer you get to this, the lower the volume gets. Just from experimentation, I don't even have to say anything. I think Bob would just be thrilled to know that his electronic music instruments are being used in the education of young people, of learning not just about music, but also its relationship to uh, science and mathematics. What Bob Moog has done is he's given us the clay to sculpt with. And we are just the sculptors. We can take the clay and mold it into whatever we want. We can add more ingredients to the clay. We can make it into anything. So his legacy continues through this effort to bring music and science and math to the schools and to our young people. And I think um, uh, that may be the most important uh, legacy of all.